Hello everyone, welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. I've been hit by a bolt of lightning. I can tell you what it felt just before it hit and the colors. And I'm going to tell you, if you ever, in a vehicle, whether it be a piece of equipment, a car, or a truck, I'm going to give you some safety rules. But first, I want to explain. How did I get hit? I didn't get hit once. I didn't get hit twice. I got hit three times. First time. Don't really remember the year. I was outside in the bullpen unloading a truckload of block. I came in. Wasn't really a thunderstorm just rain and I'm stacking the block up against a metal fence and uh, tell you that one I really didn't feel but the boat of lightning hit the fence hit the forklift and hit our generator mind you I was sick but I continued my job until I was done the generator, we went to look on it. Every wire going from the generator went through a conduit, went into the building to a transfer switch, was melted down to the bare wires. Power's out. We had to shut down the store because no power. Nothing. Second time. Driving home in a severe thunderstorm, it was actually during a tropical storm. It had to have been around 2000. And, um, yeah, hit the taillight, melted it right off the back of my little S10 truck. I got home, I told my dad, I was scared. He goes, what'd you do? And I go, I remember what an engineer friend told me. And I did that. I stopped. I didn't touch nothing metal on the truck. I drove it until my metal front bumper touched the guardrail to release the charge. If you don't do this and you touch, you die. Period. There is no coming back. You die. Last time I was hit. Funny thing is, there was a thunderstorm coming. I was trying to load up all this old steel decking onto a flatbed truck to be scrapped. So I'm on a forklift, rubber tires, loading the truck. I had his truck almost loaded. Then I felt the hair on my back and my head stand up and it's like, huh? And all of a sudden, boom! It hit the forklift. It was white with pink and a little purple right in the course like I saw God himself. And I think it was him sending me a message. I am powerful. Obey me. I remembered what my friend said. The guy in the truck thought I was dead. It hit the top of the boom of the forklift. My eyes were open. So I touched the shifter, which is plastic, and I backed up. I went forward and did not touch metal, and I hit metal all around me. And I touched the stop sign. It released the charge. The hair dropped down. I got off the forklift, I was on my hands and knees, and I was throwing up. Guys, I've had a lot happen to me in the past. And the one thing, and the one thing I respect the most is Mother Nature, my God, my Lord, and my Jesus Christ. For those of you that don't believe, you're missing out. I've been baptized. And I am a Christian under construction. Every now and then, the devil, he gets a hold of me, and bad things happen, and they continue to happen. 
you got to go in the corner. You got to repent. You got to beg for forgiveness. Because if you don't, you're lost. Guys, for me to survive the things I've survived in my lifetime. Get a Bible if you don't have one and read it. I've read it cover to cover. And I still look for the answers. My church, I don't really step foot in a building because this cough just, I don't, I just don't want to make them think that I'm still ill, even though I still am. I pray every day. I pray every night. And I repent of all my sins. Guys, please, find a way in your heart for forgiveness. I'll see you next time. Bye.